So, hey guys, um, I'm here at long last to do the commonplace book tag, which Fariba over at the Medi Medieval Reader created and which she tagged me in. Um, so I'm here finally to do it. She tagged me while I was away and I didn't have my any, I didn't have all my books and my uh, notebook where I write down quotes in with me. Um, but I'm here now, uh, like a week and a half or so late, but um, I thought I would just show you guys first my commonplace book. I didn't actually know that these, this sort of thing was called a commonplace book, but yeah, so I have a binder where I keep it. Um, I like that because I can sort of move things around if I need to. Um, it just feels, I don't know, sort of, it, it makes me feel like I can, if, if, I don't know, if I want to move something somewhere, if I want to put two two quotes from two different books closer to each other because they seem thematically relevant to each other. I can do that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, I, I started this book a long time ago, so I can't quite remember why I did a binder, but that is uh, the only reason I can think of, so uh, it's what I'm going with. I also have uh, this, which is a notebook where I have written down a lot of poems that I love. Um, I, I have, in both of these, I've sort of gotten lax in my, uh, updating them. Um, I've read many books that I haven't put in this. In fact, I haven't put much at all in here, to be honest. Um, I've only gotten... I mean, this is a binder, so it's like, it's got... A, it, so that is all I've actually put in here. So, um, now that this tag has come up and I'm doing it, I'm like, I need to kind of keep doing this because I've read so many books where I have underlined things that I might want to put in here, but just haven't gotten to putting them in. And, you know, adding to this book was always sort of a nice, relaxing thing to do in the evening with maybe a movie or YouTube videos on. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, now I, I'm feeling like I'll need to get back into the habit. Um, but anyway, I, I looked through it. I also just went and looked through the books to see through these books because, as I said, I have a lot of underlined things in them that uh, that I uh, that would go in this book, but I just haven't gotten around to putting into it. Uh, after I film this video, I'll probably go and spend like three hours doing that and then probably forget to do it for another month or so. But um, anyway, you don't need to hear about my uh, erratic work ethic. <laughs> um, let me get to the quotes. Um, the first one I'm going to do is something that I should be somewhere in here. Um, now that I think about it, I can't remember where I put it in here, but uh, I have it memorized. It's actually a, from a poem, one of the few poems that I have by heart. Um, it's a poem by the Czech poet Miroslav Holub uh, called Ode to Joy. Um, and, uh, I don't think I'm gonna find it in here. I may have already skipped over it, but, uh, it's the first two lines. And they go, You only love when you love in vain. That's all. Um, that's, that's not the whole poem. That's the, that's the first two lines of the poem. I could recite the whole poem, but, um, it's a short poem, but, anyway. Uh, I just, when I first saw those two lines, I just, it was just, like, such a simple articulation of something that, you know, we all sort of know deep down that anything in life that we care about, anything that we work for, anything, anyone that we love, anyone that we know, ultimately is going to die or else we're going to die and have to leave them. So essentially everything we love, our love is in vain because, it, you know, everything is going to perish someday. Um, but yeah, so uh, that is my first one. Uh, that is, by the way, I have a very extensive, um, I have a very, there's a, on Facebook you have that feature where you can add to your profile uh, quotes, your favorite quotes, and uh, mine is very extensive. <laughs> um, and I think all but one of the ones I'm gonna talk about are on there. But anyway, that was my first quote, Miroslav Holub. The second one is one I've mentioned here. It's another one that it's another quote that I have by heart, but it's from the Meditations by Marcus Aurelius, um, and it goes, "Men exist for the sake of one another. Teach them then, or bear with them." 
And, uh, that is, again, such a simple articulation of something that, that I, I really try to live by, which is, like, you know, if, if you meet someone you don't like, or, or something, or not even something you don't like, but if someone, um, I don't know, if there's some, so if you perceive some kind of inadequacy in another person, then don't just, don't, don't, um, I don't know, don't be cruel about it. Try to help them. Or, if maybe you're wrong, then listen to what they have to say and learn from them, or teach them, I guess. Or And if you can't do that, or don't feel like doing that, then just, then, you know, don't be, again, don't be cruel. Just, you know, bear with them, as it says. Like, just deal with it and either... I guess maybe if they annoy you, don't don't stick around them, or if they're your friend, then just accept them for how they are. Um, so yeah, that's definitely one a quote that I try to live by. Um, and then I think I sorry I've been aimlessly okay. Um, and the last one is from uh, the Chuangzi, which is uh, one of the major texts of Taoism, um, which has a, a many, many essays, all supposedly by this one guy named Chuangzi, but I think, um, I think in reality they're thought to have been written by many different people, but, uh, anyway, the quote I want to share is, Between heaven and earth, I am but as a small stone or a small tree on a great hill. So long as I see myself to be thus small, how should I make much of myself? And... I guess that goes a bit back to the first quote, where it's like, you know, everything you do ultimately is in vain, everything you love is going to die, or it's empty, or, um, but, like, just this feeling of sort of cosmic insignificance is something I'm, I think about a lot, and, um, and, like, I don't know, I, I actually take comfort in it, like, you know, because I'm not cosmically significant, it's like, okay, so, you know, if I flunk out of graduate school, that's fine. The universe will go on, and everything will be fine. Not that I'm, not that I necessarily think I'm going to flunk out of graduate school, just if that anxious thought comes to me, I can just tell myself, it's okay. The universe will go on, you know? And that is actually really comforting to me. Um, and also, I think it's just a good way of sort of maintaining humility, uh, I try to be humble. I don't know if that comes off. Uh, I, one of my biggest fears is becoming a narcissist. Um, so I try to keep my, uh, I try to keep my evaluation of myself in check and not become too wrapped up in what I think I'm good at. Um, I try to be critical of myself, um... I, I, but I also try to acknowledge what I know are my strengths, uh, at the same time, so, but, you know, sometimes that can make, like, I see myself doing that, and sometimes I get afraid that I am taking it a bit too far, but, anyway, um, those are my three quotes, I mean, if you asked me another day, they might be different, um, there were so many quotes in here that I wanted, to, that I wanted to talk about, um, like, there were, there was one quote from Nietzsche, from Thus Spoke Zarathustra, that I just, that I was tempted to talk about. Uh, but again, uh, I wanted to do the tag correctly, and I didn't want to go on for too long. Um, so those are my three quotes, and, uh, Fariba tagged most of the people who I would tag, except, um, I'm gonna tag, uh, Sarah Marcel. I'm going to tag Curtis at Curtis Books and Films, who I don't believe Fariba tagged. Um, if I tag anyone by accident who Fariba did tag, then I then consider yourself doubly tag, I, tagged, I guess. And then I'm going to tag uh, Municorn at the Bookish Land. Um, and I think I think that's who I tag. Um, I can't think of anyone else. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. This is a cool tag. Uh, I liked the idea. And um, Fariba pointed out how weird it is that it hadn't been invented until now. And when you think about it, it is kind of weird. But uh, I'm really glad because I'm a big fan of quotes. Like I said, I have a very extensive Facebook quote.
page of my uh, my info. But anyway, uh, thanks guys.